pests are an ever-present menace in the vegetable garden. You can never escape the threat of an attack, but you can at least plan for one. The secret lies in attracting beneficial wildlife, arming yourself with barriers, and working strategically to sidestep common pests. In this video, we'll show you how it's done. A healthy plant is less likely to succumb to pests than one that is weak or stressed. Make sure your crops are as healthy as possible by following good cultivation practices. Water soil in dry weather, keep plants regularly weeded, and add organic fertilisers and organic mulch such as garden compost where appropriate. Only grow crops that will thrive in the space you can give them. Enlist the help of natural allies that will dispatch pests for you. Predatory insects such as ladybirds or ladybugs, birds, toads and many other animals can eat or destroy pests before they become a problem. Attract predatory insects into the garden by planting the flowers that they will also feed on. Choose plants with a single ring of petals, which normally contain greater amounts of nectar and pollen. Good examples include calendula, an easy to grow annual that readily sows itself from one year to the next, and fennel, which is a favourite of hoverflies or surfid flies. Don't forget flowers for early and late in the season too. Spring bulbs such as crocuses are excellent early on, while ivy is a great choice towards the end of the season. Often, leaving one or two biennial crops, such as onions and carrots, in the ground ensures an early source of nectar. Several overwintering cover crops or green manures also provide early and late flowers for beneficial insects. You can find a list of recommended flowers to attract beneficial bugs to your garden in our garden planner. Incorporating them into your plan is easy. We're going to choose calendula, which is great near salad crops, so we'll place it here next to these lettuces. Use the corner handles if you need to extend the row or expand it out into a block. Once your plan is complete, click the plant list button to see exactly how many you'll need to plant in this area. Other ways to attract insects include installing bought or homemade insect hotels such as this one, allowing patches of grass to grow a little longer and leaving deadwood in corners of the garden as breeding areas for beetles. A clump or two of nettles also draws in plenty of beneficial bugs. Frogs and toads carry a healthy appetite for slugs and many insects, making them perfect garden companions. Install a pond to provide a breeding place for these amphibians. Even a small one, made by sinking a watertight container into the ground, can lure them in. Water is also vital for birds, including insect eaters, which will feast on the likes of aphids after quenching their thirst. Don't forget to include trees, shrubs and hedges to the perimeter of your garden. These provide nesting sites and food, ensuring your feathered friends will never be far from potential pests. Physical barriers such as netting, insect mesh, fleece or row covers are highly effective at stopping flying pests such as aphids and carrot fly. Set them into position before an attack is likely. In many cases, for example to protect against carrot fly, that means laying covers onto the ground as soon as the seeds have been sown and only removing them to weed after wet weather. It often helps to group crops that require the same type of protection together. For example, crops in the cabbage family, such as cauliflower, broccoli and kale, may be grown next to each other in the same bed. This means that all the plants can be covered with a single piece of netting to prevent butterflies laying their eggs. Similarly, by growing fruit bushes in one part of the garden, a fruit cage becomes more practical to prevent birds from eating your harvest. You can also add barriers like this to a garden plan. Start by selecting garden objects in the selection bar, then scroll through to select what you need. This fruit cage is just the job for these berries. There we go, safe and sound. Of course, to install defences, you need to know which pests are heading your way. That's where the big bug hunt comes in. If you see any pests or beneficial insects in your garden, please head over to bigbughunt.com and report them. We're working with leading university researchers to build a pest early warning system to help gardeners around the world save their hard-won harvests. Every bug reported will help to make that system more accurate. Pests will always be synonymous with gardening, but exercise some precautions and you'll beat the bugs. Tell us how you prevent pests by dropping us a comment below, and if you haven't yet subscribed to our video channel, well, now's the perfect time to do so.
I'll catch you next time.